Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new series. I had the itch to play vanilla again so I thought that we would try out a hardcore world. I have never beat the game in hardcore and I thought it would be really fun to attempt it in a series. Now I'm a little bit nervous for this but I am a fairly safe player. I mean I don't die a ton so we're just gonna... <laughs> We're gonna go with that for the seed. So you can play along with me if you would like to. That's kind of cool. That's the seed we're gonna be using. Hardcore mode is on. I think that's all I need to do. Let's create the world. Oh, the anticipation of a new world. I'm so excited to be back to basics. Okay, we are in on a beach. A pretty typical start for me, to be honest. Oh, there's some flowers. Thank you, don't mind if I do. Right, okay. Let's begin by chopping some wood. Oh my gosh, it's so nice to be back to the basics. I love the beginning part of the game and I can't wait to attempt this in hardcore mode. Oh my goodness, look at my hearts. It's so scary. If you aren't aware, hardcore is basically a mode where if you die, well, you die. You you don't get a second chance. You don't come back from the dead. The world is essentially useless after you die just one time. So we have to play this very safe. Starting off in a pretty typical way, of course. Uh, whoops. <laughs> Making a pickaxe. Now, I'm not big on wooden tools, so I'm going to go from here and try and find some stone. Let's kind of scout around and see what we have. Can I get on this tree? Okay. Oh, I see a cave over there. This is actually really beautiful. I don't see any shipwrecks, unfortunately. Oh my gosh, there's a village and a dark oak forest and a mountain. Why is the seed actually good? I typed it in as a joke. <laughs> what? Subscribe to Gemini Tay is a good seed? I didn't mean for this to happen, but let's head into this cave just really quickly just to grab some cobble. Please, nothing come out of this cave and shoot me. Pretty please. Okay, <laughs> I think it's fine. There's a little bit of coal. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't know if you could see that because it's really dark, but there's a creeper and a skeleton. <laughs> and I don't, I don't wish for that. Oh boy, okay. Switching that out right away. Okay, now we can collect some stone quite a lot easier, but we're gonna come back to that cave when it's not scary. Let's go head to the village. Oh, there's bees and there's lots of animals. There's this beautiful forest. We have so much to work with here. I can't wait. Oh my goodness. I'm actually so excited. Oh look, there's more cave here. Okay, let me go ahead and grab just some stone tools really quickly. I would like to have an ax and a sword just cause yeah, it's hardcore. I wanna be prepared. I don't, I'm not gonna worry about like wasting cobblestone or anything like that. Like I just, I just kinda want a full set of tools to be honest. Right, full set of tools has been acquired. Let's head back out of this cave now and go see if there's anything cool in this village. Hello villagers, excuse me. Oh, don't mind if I do. This is a really easy food source. And this is good news for us because it means we don't have to stay awake for the first night. Now, I'm not entirely, ooh, there's a kitty. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure if I'm gonna stay in this village, but we can hang out for a little while. I mean, it doesn't hurt. Ooh, apples, whoa, so many apples. Okay, so I guess that's our food source for a while. What else have we got here? Hello farmer, whoa, cool trades. Okay, you know what? This might be an okay place to hang out. I don't hate it. It's kind of cool. It's kind of cute. Let's get the hay bales. Villages are a little bit of a risk because they're going to be attacked by, I think, zombie hordes more often, but also patrols. Luckily for us, patrols aren't going to spawn until like five days or something in game. I don't know what the exact number is, but it's, it's a quite a few. So we don't worry about it yet. There's a blacksmith here though. Oh my gosh. Hey, dude. What? What? Wait, this is so good for us. What? I just got four advancements from one chest. Oh my goodness. We're gonna suit up with that piece of armor. Yes, please. This is like the best house ever, dude. Thank you so much. Oh my goodness. Here, I'll chop down the tree for you. Seems like it's kind of in the way. This iron is actually perfect for me. It gave me four pieces, which means I can make a shield and a bucket, which kind of important, right? That's like that's a really good start. Wow, okay, let's go grab some water and go see what those caves have to offer. Hello, sir, can I just borrow your water? Thank you very much. Right, so the sun is right at midday. Oh my gosh, we're progressing so quickly, I love it. Let's head down in here. There's lots of exposed iron and coal, so this is gonna be great, and we have some food. 
just gonna come and light this up before any baddies come crawling out of that hole so I can safely grab this iron. Oh my goodness, this is such a good start. I think the next thing I'm gonna make is a chest plate. I could make tools, but you know what? It's way easier to have stone tools for a little while and have armor because it's hardcore, we don't wanna die. I think I should focus being defensive as opposed to offensive. Am I thinking too hard? I don't know. Ooh, more iron, yes please. Oop, skeleton, skeleton, skeleton. Okay, oh gosh, okay, you know what? You know what? Skeleton, you own this cave now. It's all yours. Yeah, burn, that's right, that's right, okay. <laughs> uh, actually, you know what, let's conserve our cobble. Let's go smelt this at the village. I, I just wanna make a piece of armor because I have 13 iron. Okay, I've not even been in the world for 10 minutes yet. I gotta chill. Relax, smelt some iron. Oh, you know what? Let's just do that. While that is smelting, let's start thinking about some cows. We're gonna need cows and sugarcane pretty early on, and there's this pen over here that has kinda already started for us. Maybe I'll just adjust this and kinda take the hay out of it. See if I can't get a cow breeder going. That'd, that'd be really good for us early game. And chopping down some more wood because we're gonna wanna do some building as well eventually. Gotta be as safe as possible. Maybe we can do something with this village, like completely wall it in. Ooh, that could be really fun. If the village is walled in, we can kind of protect it and defend it. It will put us at risk of raids. I don't know. Let me know what you'd like to see me do. I think that could be something that's fun. All right, mission complete. The pen is pretty much done. You know what, let's expand this corner. It's, it's our cows, we wanna treat them right. Let's give them a nice sized pen. The villagers were kind of being a little slack there. There we go, okay. And we'll just take some of these hay bales. Here, cow. Yeah. You got the right idea. Come on in. That's it. Okay, I'm gonna get you some friends. One moment. Ah, yes! Look at this. There's so many cows around here. Whoa. Hey, cows. Oh, there's a baby. Come here. Come on. This is so exciting, isn't it? I'm bringing you to a whole new home. Oh, dear. I think the sun is setting. Okay, cows. We gotta pick up the pace. We can't be doing a nighttime. Come on, come on, that's it. In we go, that's it, good job. Okay, we have cows, mission accomplished. Now, I'm just gonna quickly go ahead and steal these villagers' beds. Dude, dude uh, no, um, I think that this is going to be my bed. I'm so sorry. The first night has been skipped. I'm sorry, villager, this is, that's mine now. All right, and let's get the cows breeding. There we go. Come here, what are you doing? Oh my gosh, there we go. Perfect, we have babies. All right, that's a good start. Now the next thing that we really need to get is probably some sugar cane, but let's check on our iron smelting. Ah, yes, perfect. And let's craft up a chest plate using that. We can use the rest for tools, I think. I don't know. All right, I'm feeling much braver now with a couple of pieces of armor, my sword, and my shield. So let's head back into this cave and see if there's any more iron for us to get a nice full set. If it's not easy to get, I might leave it alone and try to set us up a better area. I hear so many baddies. Why do I hear so many? Oh my gosh. Excuse me. Um, oh boy. I am overwhelmed. Okay, I didn't mean for there to be this many. What the heck? Why? Why is there so many? Hey! Not today. No siree. Get dead. Thank you. Wow. Okay, to be honest, that was a lot. There's an enderman in there. No thank you. Um, so these are pretty surface level caves. They do look like they go pretty deep though. I think I'm gonna skip out on caving. I'm just gonna try to get as much of this surface iron as I can without having to go too deep. If I can get full iron before I go down, that's gonna be ideal. Okay, there's another little bit in here. Just, yep, don't don't mind me. I'm fine. I'm not gonna look at you. It's, it's all good. Oh, oh, okay, nope, nope. That's a nope, that's a nope. Okay, Um. <laughs> there's another piece of iron, but I have 13 pieces. Oh, carrot, thank you. I could have got that from the village, but I was still excited. <laughs> it's fine, I get excited over simple things. Don't mind me. Okay, let's head back to the village now and start thinking about setting up a spot for us to be nice and safe. Because in reality, patrols are gonna start spawning and if we wanna stay in this general area, we need to make some safety precautions, you know? 
My inventory is also getting a little bit full, so it'd be great to have a place to store some stuff. I think this house, where I took the bed from, is now officially my house. Yep, this is mine. I have claimed it. Gonna make my third crafting table of the episode. Yep, don't mind me. It's all good. It's fine. And a chest to put some of my good stuff in that I don't really need to be carrying around. Okay, next on my list of important things to get in the early game is sugarcane. And to be honest, I've not actually seen any sugarcane yet. I don't know why, but I haven't really explored this way. To be honest, a little scared of the dark oak forest. <laughs> it's spooky and things can spawn in it, but I'll go anyways. Hello, any sugarcane? This is such an interesting seed. What the heck? I actually kind of love that there's a desert right here. Oh, and there is some sugarcane, so I guess we'll go on a little adventure to the desert. All right, thank you. Don't mind if I do. Perfect, this is much better. Oh, it looks so beautiful. I kind of don't want to live in a desert though, to be honest, so I think I'm gonna stick with where we're at. Oddly enough, there's not actually much of a pond anywhere in this area to grow some sugarcane, so I'm literally just gonna dig a place to grow sugarcane. Is this weird? This might be weird. I'm gonna do it anyway though. Cool, okay, so this is my little sugarcane farm. Got my cow pen set up. Now the only thing that I need is a good home that I can live in and be safe in. And I'd also kinda love to be able to wall off this village, to be honest. It's a little risky living in here. I'm nervous. Ooh, I wonder if that house had anything in it. You know what? I never really explored this place very well. Hello, is there a chest in here? Oh my gosh, there is! What? I almost missed this entirely. I, I am so silly. What the heck? Okay, let's eat the bread. Wow, okay, let's go check on this one as well. Oh, cool, this is the one with the stone cutter. We can definitely make use of this. Okay, <laughs> I'm actually so excited for this world. Wow, I haven't had like a, a seed like this in a while. I, I don't normally build in villages, so. Oh, Savannah, okay. But yeah, I, d I don't normally build in villages, so I'm super excited to actually have this. In terms of materials, I actually don't have much. So I'm gonna come over to this forest now and chop down a few trees to see if I can get some stuff to build myself a proper house and wall for protection. And now that I have some wood, I think it's also time to collect some stone because I would like to build kind of a fort type thing in this area. And in order to do that, I'm definitely gonna need some cobblestone. I actually wanna set up a mine in this area right here. And what I'm gonna do is something that's kind of against the rules, but I'm gonna dig straight down. And I am carrying around a bed so that I can just sleep whenever I want. It doesn't really matter in hardcore about respawn points, so carrying around a bed is kind of the best bet, to be honest. <laughs> it's not like I'm gonna respawn in it. Almost forgot to grab some water. Thank you very much. Definitely gonna need that for this project. So basically what I'm gonna do is build this three by three hole all the way down to diamond level. And I'm gonna make a ladder or eventually maybe elevator system coming up and down. This way it's just different from that typical staircase that we have to go up and down and hopefully it'll work out and kind of collect me lots of stone to build out of. Because this village is gonna need a wall around it if I wanna keep all of my villagers safe and also myself safe. And so we need the resources to do that. And also, grabbing some iron. Heck yeah, very useful. One piece, oh, nope, several pieces, nice. Even though I have some iron on me, I am going to just continue to do this out of the stone tools. I don't wanna waste resources mining this out, and to be honest, it's not even that slow with the stone. Whoops. It'll just be better in the long term, I think. This early game grind is something that I really missed. I'm actually really excited to set up this area. So in this series, I think it's important to talk about goals because I've never run a hardcore series before and I've never really even done one in private. I've done hardcore on streams from time to time, but I've never finished those worlds or even stick to them. So I'm excited to have one where I actually have some goals that I'd like to be able to complete. And I think the main goal, obviously, is definitely defeating the dragon. Maybe the wither as well in hardcore could be kind of hard. I don't know, what should my goals be? I'm kind of a hardcore noob, I don't know what I'm doing, and maybe some of you in the comments can help me out and tell me what you'd like to see me do in this hardcore world. Look how far down we've come already. The sun is directly above our heads. Oh my gosh, this is kind of cool actually, I like it. Oh, okay. I found the cave. Okay. Um, <laughs> it 
actually has water, which is kind of cool. Um, yeah. Okay, so I don't think that we want to deal with that quite yet. I'm gonna place my water down at the bottom just in case I fall in. And gonna go ahead and just convert all of this, make a bunch of sticks, and get some ladders going. I don't know how far down exactly I am, so hopefully this is enough ladders. Oh, yeah, easy. Super easy, wow. All right, that's perfect. So obviously this is a danger, but if I fall down this hole, there is water down there for me to land in. And let's just kind of fence that off. Yeah, there we go, okay. That is gonna be our official mining area, uh, eventually. All right, don't mind me, just uh, using your furnaces. Thank you so much for providing those, yep, okay. Hello cows, would you like some food? Here you go, perfect. Lots and lots of babies. Oh my gosh, we're gonna have leather in no time. It's definitely time to start building ourselves a place to kind of hide away, keep all of our storage and things like that, where we can be safe and work and craft without having to constantly watch our back for any creepers that spawn. Being around this dark oak forest is a little spooky because mobs can sometimes spawn in them even in the daylight. I'd like a spot that's pretty safe. I think the easiest thing to do is gonna be transforming this little hut right here on the hill into some place where I can actually kind of be at home. It's kind of ugly at the minute. Um, not to insult your architecture skills, villagers, but I, I think we could do better. So let's start by just transforming these pillars into something that I actually want, which is gonna be these dark oak logs. We're gonna kind of get a bit of a darker, more stone featured aesthetic going in this village. Hopefully this will help it. I'm gonna change out these pink walls to be an oak wall instead. Yep, this is already so much better, but the roof obviously needs some work. I don't really want the roof to be oak if the walls are oak. So we need to think of a different block for the roof. And to be honest, I don't have a lot of blocks. I have oak wood, dark oak wood, and cobble. I know this is not a block that I normally use in roofs, but it's so easy to get. And this is a starter building. I don't I don't wanna be like mining for resources for ever and ever, but this is just some easy surface granite that I can grab right now and make a quick roof out of. It's also easy enough for me to grab some of this andesite for some decoration. Also, we have a stone cutter in this village already, so I'll go get that to create some easier slabs and stairs for myself. Hello, villager. Wow, that's actually a really good trade. Maybe I could build something out of bricks. Cool, now I kind of don't want to break this. Here, let me just use it right here. Okay, I got some slabs of granite. Thank you, sir. That was a little rude, you slammed the door on me, but I'm gonna return and continue building. I'm not gonna lie, I've made the house quite a lot worse. <laughs> don't worry, trust, I got this, I got this. So, starting with the edge of the roof, and quick little distraction because I kind of forgot that I had iron in here. Oh, perfect. So with this, we can make some pants and some boots and we officially have a full set of iron armor. What the heck? I, I really did not expect to already have iron armor in the first episode, to be honest. I guess it is hardcore. We do have to be moving a little bit faster than I'm used to. All right, that simple transformation is making it look so much better already. Wow, but there's not very much space in here. I want to use some of the cobble that we collected earlier to make this a much safer area. And we're gonna do that by just kind of making it into this fortress type zone. So basically I'm gonna turn this side of my house into like a defensive tower. If a raid or a horde of zombies or anything comes, I can run right away and be in this stone tower that is super duper safe. Now obviously that does mean my villagers might suffer, but I'm not the hero they needed. I, I'm a wimp and I'm not ashamed of that. It's fine. I would like to live. I choose life. I do probably want to be careful I don't die to building. Can you imagine? Oh, that's probably what I'm gonna die to, is just building. Cause I get I get way too excited and I end up doing stuff like this and ugh. I gotta control myself. Right, okay. This is perfect. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I actually really adore this. Look at my little castle. Isn't it just the cutest? I need to swap out that final little pillar right there. Uh, but it's kind of cute, right? I like it. 
Now, I don't know about you, but I am not quite impressed by this little castle yet. It needs quite a lot more defenses and a place for me to feel safe and be able to do all my work. So it needs another expansion, naturally. I'm gonna add kind of a little curved section just right off the side here, just to give it a little extra. Oh wait, you, no, you can't get in. This is mine. I'm not, I'm not responsible for you, okay? I'm a little bit responsible for you, but I'll figure it out in episode two. <laughs> All right, and just like that, we have yet another balcony. And I'll just shove a window kind of right here. That looks right. Okay, now that should have given it quite a lot more shape. Yes, oh my gosh, it's so much better. Now, next on the list, we have a bunch of this extra fence. And the easiest way for me to keep things out is to just make a fence. I, I mean, that sounds silly saying it out loud, but it's true. Okay, so here's my plan, right? We have a staircase coming down this way. So let's just place some dirt like that and bam. Staircase comes down this way. We can kind of cut off the terrain a little bit right here just to make it a little sharper, hopefully. I don't know if this makes any sense, but it makes sense to me. So I'm gonna just try to visualize it for you. So here we go. We can come up our staircase, but now the problem is this is not as secure, right? We, we need it to be secure. So. We're gonna make this into almost a castle-like gate, but it's just like a low fence because we don't have the resources to make a whole wall. We do, however, have some extra fence from earlier, so I'm gonna use that to kind of fill in the gaps. And then if we put some slabs on top, it means that nothing will be able to jump over, even in the lower points. That is oddly beautiful and satisfying, and I love it. Right, time to clear some land in this lower area because I'm definitely gonna be taking over this spot as well. I need a storage center next, so while that is going to be like my house and main area of like crafting, operations, defense, I also need some storage. And I think this little area right here is perfect. So I'm just gonna kind of line it up correctly with the same exact dimensions of the one above. And we'll just sort of build a little hut down here. <laughs> Hopefully this will work as a storage hut. All right, friends, the roof is going on and this is officially my storage room. I'm excited. Getting a storage room set up early game before you go exploring is so helpful, honestly. And this is a place that I'm always going to return to. So yeah, I want it to be good. I want to be proud of the spot. Continuing work on my base, I've officially completed the perimeter. Or, well, sort of. Completed for this episode anyways, nothing can kinda get in. The gate is not overly secure. I'd actually have to put two gates to make it secure, but you know, for now, it's not bad, right? So this in here is going to be our storage room. We can expand it into the mountain as far as we'd like to, cause you know, we're on this little hill here. So I can completely hollow that out if I'd like to. And I can even have another entrance to it under the stairs right here. We can come upwards right here. And this is going to lead to our little main base. I'm gonna put a flooring down in here and kind of make little access points to everywhere. We can do a second floor. We'll have our kitchen up here, a lovely little space for us to chill and our bedroom. I don't know how useful any of this actually is in a hardcore world, but I'm having fun. So just, you know, if it's fun, it's not a waste. Okay, but I do have a little bit of extra polished andesite in my inventory. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of line this edge. A little bit, kind of the same as I did right here. I'd almost just like to use some trap doors as a little bit of a railing. So if I'm running along or if I get hit by something, I just, I don't fall directly off. I can maybe do that all the way along the stairs. I mean, I'm not gonna die falling from that height, but you know, a little extra security never hurt anybody. It's quite the opposite actually. This is absolutely perfect. As a finishing touch to this area, I think it'd be lovely to get some chimneys actually on my build. And wait, luckily for us, we could trade to get bricks. And there's also some bricks actually in the in the stonemason's room. So let's go over there and see what we can't get. Yeah, so this lovely villager right here has some bricks for us. Well, they're not bricks yet, but they're clay balls, which is kind of the same. And then I'm gonna use my two emeralds to get more bricks. I know that it probably seems like a waste of emeralds to some of you, but remember we have so much hay. It is literally so easy for me to get wheat and get a bunch of emeralds back. I'll, I would have to reset some trays, but yeah. Okay, I found a little bit of clay over here on the shore, so this should give us enough to get a chimney done. Ah, perfect. Aw, they love each other. It's a, why, why are they angry? 
Are they in love or are they angry? Oh, it's a love triangle. Oh dear. I'm gonna make some shears since I have the extra iron just to kind of clear some of these leaves and also collect the leaves for potential decorations. I mean, look how good these would look up against the wall. Oh my gosh. Yes. It just helps so much. I don't want to do them too high. They're good in this spot, right? Because you still can't jump over even though the leaves are there. So it's important I be careful with my decorations, but it doesn't mean that I can't decorate. So cute. I have a few bricks now and I'm gonna see how a chimney actually looks on this build because I'll be honest, haven't tried it out yet. I'm gonna try and put one right here, I think. So just building it up on the outside and then we're gonna break one of those roof blocks and just bring it up just till about there. I don't want it to be too high. And then we plop that on there, get some trap door action. Bam. Okay, hopefully that looks okay. <laughs> yeah, you know what? I do think that that really helps. Oh my gosh. I don't hate it. That's actually really cute. <laughs> right, our sugarcane farming is going quite well. Just expanding the farm a little bit. You know what? We could probably actually add another row here. Perfect. Yes, the sugarcane factory is underway. The leather is coming together. Oh my gosh. It's fantastic. I've never actually gone in this building. What's in here? Oh, there's a chest. I keep just... I never I never really explored this village properly. <laughs> I'm going to be on episode 12 like, oh, chest in my own village that I didn't look at. Hey, buddy. You know what? What would happen if I reset this villager's traits, actually? I would love to do that and see if I actually get anyone good. Do you want to come reset? Yeah. Unbreaking too. Okay, it's kind of expensive to be fair. I feel like for this weaponsmith, I would have to upgrade him quite a lot to make it worth it. I don't know how all of you feel, but gosh, I'm so proud of this house. Wow, what a little fort we have going here. <laughs> it's so cute and it's so protected. All we have to do is make sure that the inside in here is lit up and nothing can spawn inside, nothing can get in. It's literally perfect. And plus, no villagers can get in and annoy us either. So in this room in here, I'll end up burrowing it kind of all the way into the mountain, I think. But for right now, whoops, that's not the correct tool. Um, for right now, I'll probably just leave it as is because I don't need a whole ton of storage in this early game. But we'll plop down a couple of chests in the entrance just in case I'm overflowing. For example, I can put my granite in there now. And that'll be really helpful. Well, everyone, I think that's going to do it for this episode. I feel really accomplished. We got so much done. Look at these happy villagers. Look at my little fort. We got farms going. Ah, oh, it's just all around a very good time. And I've had so much fun playing in this world. Let me know what you thought of it. I'm really happy with the world. I know that we spent a lot of time building in this episode, but that actually gives me a reason to want to keep the world. I mean, if you don't build in a hardcore world, then you don't lose anything when you die, so there's no punishment. I want there to be a punishment. I, I want to try to live in this world for like a little while, you know? So now if I die, I lose this build, which is, you know what? Now that I think about it, that's not that great. Um, okay, well, uh, I'll figure it out. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. This has been the seed. Subscribe to Gemini Tay, which is a great seed if you're on Java Edition. 10 out of 10 recommend. <laughs> Thank you for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like on the video if you like what you saw here. And I hope I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye, everyone.